So who are you and where are we at? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on the Vollmer Farm uh, in Franklin County. And so our farm is a fifth generation family farm. For three and a half generations, we were a tobacco farm. And that's what paid our bills. And then, uh, then there was a transition away from tobacco into fruits and vegetables. Uh, primarily strawberries as a, a way of uh, generating enough money to, do, to not have to depend on tobacco. So uh, my name is Russ Vollmer and I'm the owner operator of this farm. And, uh, but prior to full-time farming, which I've been doing for about four and a half years, I had a 20-year career in crop insurance and, and loved it, uh, enjoyed it. I was able to, to work both on the claim side as a manager there and also on the marketing side, helping the agents that actual, actually sell the product and go and, and meet with farmers and talk to them about their risk management needs. So, so I hope I'm a, uh, a good resource, you know, for, for what y'all are trying to do here, you know, as we had both the farming side and then also what I learned uh, in my crop insurance career. Commodity crops, and if you want to call tobacco commodity crop or, you know, what you would consider corn, soybeans, wheat, cotton, tobacco. Um, they, it is much easier for the farmers to maintain production records with those types of crops. Uh, the reason being is, is, you know, they're delivering those crops either to an elevator or to a cotton gin uh, or to a tobacco receiving station where those, those trucks are weighed in and out uh, the, those facilities generate uh, those receipts or, or those records that are used uh, to establish the individual farmer's APH or actual production history. And so it's, it's a cleaner system, it's an easier system. When you move the fruits over to fruits and vegetables, based on the fact that most of us that are in that business have to market them in many different locations. Sometimes we're doing it at our own farm, at our own farmer's market. Many of us are selling our products at, uh, at farmer's markets uh, on a Saturday with many other farmers. Uh, and then there's the wholesale side of it as well. And so you're dealing many times with cash receipts, and which makes it a heck of a lot harder to 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 bring forth what you would would say is acceptable records that was that was a term when i was in the crop insurance industry that we used a lot and and there is an acceptable record you know just writing uh, uh 30 pounds uh of broccoli sold on you know that may not be an acceptable record for risk management agency it might be but it is probably not because that is a made-up record, you know, off, off of somebody's memory, most likely. So it does present a lot more difficult challenges on fruits and vegetables as far as, you know, creating that documentation. But it's not something that is impossible to do. And so we've, we've come up with ways that we do that. Uh, and, and we can, we can sure talk about some of those ways we, we go about documenting our stuff. Mm.